one of, one of them said like I've actually walked the walk because some companies what they say is that they di- di- diverse and inclusive and you know they'll stick a uh, on their on their home page or on, on a leaflet they'll stick like a woman with a headscarf like smiling and you know say you know we we have we have a diverse company but this is actually doing doing something in the name of diversity is actually gone we've like actually gone out there um and put something in the catalog for people to use so I, li- I quite like that comment like you know you've actually walked the walk rather than just stick a like a, a woman with a headscarf on, on a leaflet and say you're diverse I wrote like a quite personal email to the PP manager about my struggles and my anxieties before I joined the company and how like Seven Trent have kind of erased them and made me feel like I fitted in, made me feel like I could get far in, in, in a role like this as a Muslim woman. Um, but, you know, I did say I've identified two gaps that I feel are um, ca- like safety concerns when going out to site. But also I feel like if we were to go forward and design something that's uh, sort of, accommodates Muslim women, we could also hit that diversity sort of, diversity and inclusive sort of thing um, in the company. So I did that and then uh, I wrote an email and then I had a really positive response from all those guys higher up. And uh, the PPE manager asked me for a design. So she kind of, they put the onus on me, which I quite like, like I, I, I love that I had the responsibility to design it and I just didn't give it to someone who hadn't had experience of what I had experienced when going out on site. This is the prototype that was sent once I had sent my design forward. So the two main safety concerns I had when going out on site was the loose material um, of my normal style uh, hijab and the the fact that um, a helmet wouldn't fit over my head because it'd be ra- I'd be wrapping around the headscarf and it could like it make a lot of layers. So this is is it's got no loose material. It's like a pull on design um, and also. It, 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 if you were to put it on it'd be like quite a snug fit there wouldn't be any, any any layers so it's a really simple like a really simple design it's, it's lightweight it's really it's really comfy um, keeps you warm in the winter but it doesn't also make your, your head really hot either um, and it appropriately covers it covers your hair it's got no pins on it either so if, if, if you know how Muslim hijabi women style their scarf they put a lot of pins in it to hold it in place that it's got it's got none of that either so it takes away that risk um so it's it's just a really simple really really simple cheap uh alternative to wearing like a proper headscarf and it resolves so many problems and i think uh even in terms of the message that it conveys like it mess it, it conveys such a strong important message that you know this this so whole industry is inclusive and you can do whatever job you want to do um, and you'll be accommodated for something like this it, it changes people's perspective and uh, what they think of muslims so i, I guess it's that like um, it's, people are really happy that they feel they're feeling represented whether they whether it's women or whether it's men like muslims as a whole are feeling are, are being represented and because this has gone so big um, bigger than bigger than I'd ever imagined. I thought it was just going to stay in seven trend and you know, like get get rolled out to the company. But but it's gone. Like it's becoming something that's, I guess, other engineering industries are also trying to implement. And it's just that like everyone's just really happy that there's someone out there giving them a voice. I guess. So I I hope the headscarf it goes to uh, more than the actual physical headscarf. I I just hope that 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 it conveys that message to Muslim women out there saying you know if you, you didn't think this was your thing before but you've wanted to pursue it now that like, you can pursue it now because when like obviously like I mentioned before being one of the only um, Muslim women on my on my course uh, I, I often felt like I didn't have a place in this industry and when, when I when I joined Seven Trent that that's sort what of anxiety went but now I feel like you know if 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 with this headscarf how much more can we do like in terms of representing other people as well um and also i think with muslim women as well when when you're pers- when when you're when you're pursuing a degree it's often hard to imagine yourself in in an industry like this with with your headscarf with your pp you know with a with a neon high-vis jacket on and a helmet um it's often hard to imagine yourself uh 
doing manual like jobs um and yeah just you know like do like a, a treatment process working on like big industrial assets and stuff it is hard to imagine yourself because you think oh that's not for me like you know how how would I, how would I survive out there how how would I how, how would people how how is anyone going to think that I'm capable of doing something like that and I think this it just goes to show like I hope that it helps you know those Muslim women on these engineering degrees who are looking to come into the industry who or you know m- women already in the industry wanting to pursue operational roles it helps them to imagine themselves in an operation in an operational role and um, it just like convinces them to to pursue anything that they put their mind to and not let that like, they it, I guess the main thing is like your religion shouldn't be exclusive to your safety so um you should you shouldn't feel like your religion compromises your sa- safety when doing your job and you shouldn't feel like your safety compromises your religion when doing a job like marry the two together and because that's how it should be it shouldn't they shouldn't be exclusive to each other 